Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us in person here in Calgary today and remotely. My name is Whitney Isaac, and I'm the Associate Minister for the Status of Women. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge that Calgary is on Treaty 7 territory, home to the Blackfoot Confederacy of the Siksika, the Kainai, and the Pagani, as well as the Stina and Stony Nakoda nations of Bearspaw, Chiniki, and Wesley. This area also has deep importance to the Métis people, uh, Region 3. Alberta's economy is on a path to recovery, and our government is stepping up to ensure that women have the support that they need to succeed. That's why I'm excited to, that the Alberta government is providing targeted funding to help women grow their businesses, establish successful careers, and create well-paying jobs in the industries that are crucial to building this province's future. I'll hand it over to Minister Schweitzer to share more details about the new grant program. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Isaac, and it's been a pleasure working with you on what's going to be a series of announcements here, where we want to encourage and foster and grow women entrepreneurship in Alberta, decrease barriers for women in the workplace, as well as increase participation for women and girls in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So remember, today is just one of many announcements that are going to be coming here to make sure that we create this environment in Alberta. And we do have some key examples in our province of <clears throat> women that are leading the way for the next generation. You know, people from Kelly Schmidt, who's the CEO of Benevity, uh, Alberta's recent unicorn in the tech and innovation space. We've got Tiffany Kaminsky, who's a co-founder of Cement. And again, this company, I think, is going to be one of our next unicorns in Alberta. You've got the team at the 51 leading the way for women entrepreneurship uh, in venture capital and, and funding businesses in Alberta. You've got Deborah Yedlin, the president of the Calgary Chamber of Commerce. And plus, in the innovation space in Alberta, we've got Laura Kilcrease, who's the CEO of Alberta Innovates. Christina Williams, who's the CEO of Alberta Enterprise Corporation. So we have this immense amount of talent when it comes to innovation, technology, and also in this whole field. So we have these resources here in Alberta that we want to foster, grow, and collaborate with going forward. So what we're announcing here today, and again, this is the first in a series of announcements, is $1 million, and this is going to be in a challenge grant structure. So $1 million for eligible not-for-profits, uh, to apply with solutions to targeted questions that we're asking. And these four, uh, so there's going to be four streams uh, of applications. One is going to be focused on how do we increase women and girls in science, technology, engineering, and math. One is to increase women and girls' participation in entrepreneurship. Another stream is going to be decreasing barriers for women in the workplace. And the last one is to foster ease of women's career transitions, employment skills, and labor entry or re-entry. So one thing that I know is that Alberta is a truly entrepreneurial province. And what we're trying to do here is ask for Alberta not-for-profits to come up and help us find the solutions and answers going forward. It's going to be a campaign here where we want to work with them, find those answers, and then go out into the community and make it more of a reality for everyone in our province. And this is an issue uh, that I've been passionate about going back to before I was in elected office. Uh, I had a couple different campaigns that I've been involved in, uh, and it's encouraging to see this collaboration and opportunity for us here to make this a reality in partnership uh, with my colleague, Minister Isaac, uh, to make this a reality. So those are my, uh, my remarks in that we're really looking forward to working with these not-for-profits on finding creative solutions to these challenges. And Minister Isaac has some few other thoughts. Thanks, Minister Schweitzer. You know, women across Alberta have shouldered more than their fair share of the burden at home over the past two years, including balancing virtual schooling for their children and caring for family members. At the same time, many industries that employ high percentages of women, such as the hospitality sector, experienced a decline due to the pandemic. Alberta women have persevered through every challenge thrown their way. Time and time again, they've shown their resilience and grit. For women to succeed sometimes, all they need is a little help finding the right resources, making the right connections, or developing the right skills for the job. These grants help communities address areas of concern for women entrepreneurs and other wor women working in Alberta, including skill development, job security, 
mentorship, professional development, and networking. This funding will create the conditions for women to access more opportunities to take control of their own futures. Fittingly, today is the last day of Women's Entrepreneurship Week, which makes this announcement all the more special. I declared this week as a commitment from Alberta's government to support women entrepreneurs and the important role that they play in Alberta's economic future. This announcement is just the first step towards keeping that commitment. I look forward to working closely with Minister Schweitzer and my other colleagues in government to advocate for women in every decision. Supporting women and a more inclusive economy is key to Alberta's economic future. We've come to the end of the formal portion of today's, uh, for today's announcement. Thank you once again for all of you for joining us for the launch of the Women's Economic Recovery Challenge Grant. I'll pass the microphone over to Justin, Minister Schweitzer's press secretary, to moderate any questions from the media. Thank you, ministers. With that, we will go to the phones. Operator, can you please put through our first caller? Lisa Johnson, Edmonton Journal. Hi, good morning, minister. Thanks for taking my question. Is, is $1 million a hard cap? This is a, a grant program that, that organizations can apply to. Is that, is that a hard cap? Well, right now, uh, there's going to be a series of announcements that you're going to see here over the next little while. Uh, this is the first of many, and this is the $1 million for this challenge grant. Uh, but the one thing that I would say is I'm, I have a hunch that this is going to be immensely successful, that we're going to get innovative ideas, solutions coming from the not-for-profit and innovation space uh, on how to address these challenges. So hopefully this is the beginning of a kind of a consistent stream of programming longer term, but this is the beginning of us kicking this off. You have a follow-up, Lisa? Yeah, I mean, uh, Minister Isaac, you, you spoke about how the pandemic has hit women significantly harder than men, considering the amount of ground they need to make up in, in terms of getting back into the economy and getting back to work. Is it really reasonable to expect that $1 million is going to make a significant difference here? What? Well, on that front there, I'll, I'll probably let Minister Isaac chime in here as well and provide her thoughts. Uh, but again, this is one of many announcements. So take... Uh, There'll be a few other ones that are, we're actually quite excited about that are going to help us collaborate and foster more entrepreneurship uh, for women entrepreneurs in Alberta as well. But this one here, again, the first of a series of announcements. We know we have a lot of work to do still on this one, but I'll turn it over to Minister Isaac for a few more thoughts. Thanks. And we really do know that um, women uh, were very challenged during the pandemic. Um, I had the opportunity over the summer to um, travel from corner to corner to corner of this province. And... A lot of women entrepreneurs told me about those challenges in terms of, you know, trying to uh, balance family life with work life um, at the same time of having children at, being at home to be schooled and having to figure out how to run your business that might be, uh, you know, miles away or downtown or wherever. And um, it was difficult. It was really difficult. And a lot of women are also caring for elders. And so... Um, this will create some new ideas to help uh, women entrepreneurs uh, succeed. Um, we do have other programs on their way, um, and I will say that I'm also uh, forming an advisory council uh, to really start to dig into a lot of the issues that uh, Alberta's women are facing because we know women are the backbone of this economy. We're going to make sure that they are supported to succeed. Thank you, ministers, and that concludes our media questions for today.